Today I am going to talk you through how to make an end slate using PowerPoint but also including video. Firstly open up PowerPoint and open up a blank presentation. Then delete the things that are already on the screen just by clicking and pressing delete. Then you need to sort the background out. So click on design and then format background. You can choose whether to put a solid fill, a gradient fill. There are all different kinds of gradient fills. There are pattern fills. You can look through all the different things and you can change the colors. And there are pictures or texture fill. Now you can put your own picture there if you like, or you can put any of the set textures that are already in PowerPoint. I've chosen this wood effect one today. We're going to insert two rectangles and these are where your previous video is going to go and also a link to your blog. So simply pop in a rectangle, put it into the right place, then copy and paste it. And then you've got another rectangle the same size. So simply drag that to just below or wherever you want it on your end slate and leave it there. Now we're going to pop in two text boxes which go above the two rectangles that you've just drawn. These are just going to say what is going to be in those rectangles eventually. And to be honest, you don't need to do these rectangles, but I find it helps when you're placing your video and your photo of your website or blog on there. Set the background. I've chosen a pale gray and then I'm highlighting the text, centering it and choosing a new font. Then just making it a tiny bit bigger. And then for ease, if you just copy and paste this text box, either control C, control V, or right click, copy, right click, paste. And then just drag it down to above the other rectangle. And then you can pop in there whatever you want. So this is just going to say my blog. It could be your website or it could be anything. Now we're going to insert the social media icons so here's the first one going in i simply downloaded these from the internet so they were available for me and i'll just speed this up so that you get to see the next lot go in and then i'm simply going to rearrange them to how i want them to be spaced out PowerPoint has quite a useful tool. You can see it just about lighting up red, which shows that you've made the icons an equal distance apart from each other. And they're also in line at the top and the bottom. Now we're going to insert some word art, which is going to be your header. So for me, mine is going to say helpful mum because that is my name on YouTube. And so I'm simply just putting, highlighting this and popping my own text into it. Now there's so many different things you can do with this text. You can fill it with gradients, changing that to be different colours. You can fill it with textures, these water droplets, grass. I'm going to go for this fabric texture today, but you can obviously choose whatever you want to. Then I'm going to change the outline of the text. And then I'm going to look at text options and change the color of the shadow. Then I'm just going to change the size of this font to the biggest size it can be, which is 96 on this and drag it out so that it goes on one line and then space it where I want it to go. You can also add loads of different effects. You can fill the background if you want to. I didn't want to, but you can fill the background. You can change the outline of the text. You can change all sorts of things. You can just play around with this. I'm just going to drag it to the correct place. And I'm just going to show you some of the other things you can do with the formatting. You can transform it and make it go all wobbly everywhere. Again, all of this is up to you. There's loads of different types of things available. I've just chosen in the end just to leave it as it is. Just straight. But I have added a glow to the edges. Just a very mild glow. Just to make the font stand out a tiny bit. 
Then we're going to insert another text box. This is for a subscribe button. Again, you can do with this what you want. So I'm just putting my own text into it. Highlighting it and changing the font and changing the size. So then I'm going to put a background in which matches the previous video on my blog. And then you can change the colour of the text. Again, there's all these different colours available. There's more fill colours. You can put a gradient on it or you can put a texture. I'm going to match it to the background texture of the end slate. Center it and increase the size just a tiny bit. Then I'm going to move it to where I want it to be. And that's that part. Now we're going to insert a screenshot of my blog which I took earlier. Simply uh, taking it in a screenshot and then editing it in paint which is the easiest way to do anything, just crop it in paint. So I've inserted that and popping it over the rectangle. It doesn't really matter if it goes over the edges of the rectangle as long as it covers the blue rectangle because you don't want that on your page. So I'm just squidging it a bit, which I wouldn't normally do, but it fits that way. But once I put the video on it, might I might be able to drag it out a bit further. So now I'm inserting the video. And this is a video on my PC, and it's of the last YouTube video which I uploaded. So now you need to resize this, drag it down, and then drag it over to the rectangle and place it on top and make it fit as best it can. So that's the best fit, and you can see that there's a little bit of space left for me to drag out my blog so that it matches in size of the previous video. Now, if you play the video, just to make sure that it's definitely working. And you can't save this just as a normal file because then it won't play as a video file. When you save this, you need to save it as a MPEG-4 video. And then just save it as whatever you want to on the computer. And that's it, you are ready it does take quite a long time to save, but obviously it's because it's saving your whole video and you won't need to use the whole video. So now you need to simply pop this into your video which you're making. Obviously I am currently making this video, so I'm just going to pop this end slate at the end of this video and check that it's working and the video is playing on it, so that's exactly what I want it to do. But obviously I don't want to keep the whole video on there, so I'm just going to leave about 8 seconds and chop off the end. So that's there for people to look at. Right, I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you found it easy. Any questions, please just ask. And I will see you soon.